Hi everyone, here is a quick video about how I scan my negatives. First, I send the film off to be developed, and it comes back in the post. I found a company that's been doing a great job, and I put a link to them in the description. I bought my film scanner just recently, and I hope this will be useful to anyone thinking of doing the same. Or maybe it will inspire you to just keep shooting digital, that's fine too. Quite a few years ago I had a Plustech scanner that did a good job, but only scanned the negatives in batches of one. You would have to manually advance the strip after each scan, in fact most seem to be like that still. First you load the strip into the tray, and make sure you line the images up correctly with the six apertures. You then open the free software Quick Scan Plus, and select a few options. I choose the highest resolution, which is 3600 dpi, select colour or black and white, choose a name for the files, a location for them to be saved in, and lastly a file format, I choose TIFF. Next you insert the tray into the scanner. You can then either press the scan button on the software, or the negatives button on the scanner itself. It then automatically scans the frames and saves six files in the folder you asked it to. The progress bar you're seeing now is sped up by eight times. The duration of scanning and processing takes about four and a half minutes for all six pictures. Once it's done that, switch the strip and start again. Including switching strips of negatives, it takes about five minutes per strip so half an hour to do a set of 36 pictures. As you can see, I haven't been using white gloves, but I'd recommend washing your hands before you start, and trying to handle them by the edges as much as possible. Also, definitely get a hurricane blower to clear the negatives of dust and specks before you start. Once they're imported into Lightroom, I remove any dust marks as part of my usual editing process. I don't go overboard. A picture with as much water and sky as this is particularly easy to clean up. If a large speck of dust or fibre was obscuring an important part of an image, such as a face or an eye, I'd probably just give the frame another blow of air and scan it again. I should point out that this roll was of Lomography's red scale film, hence the very grungy red and yellow look. The scanner's not weird, it's just me.